Okay, good morning. And can you believe it's 2022 already? It's amazing. The time has flown over the last few years like it's just it's ridiculous. You blink and then it's now. So <laughs> it's very strange. So let's recap here. Where, where are we? First day back in the office today, uh, 3rd of January, we are opening up. I think this week's still going to be a little bit quiet because there's quite a few people who are still out and about on leave. Andrew's here half day, then he's taking a few days off. Um, I'm probably going to do mostly half days, work from home, paint the gym. But the festive season was good. It was really good because I did nothing. I, I, I was at home the whole time. We went away uh, to Clarence and then to a little fishing trout farm place in Mashadidorp, which is halfway from here to the Kruger National Park. Literally did nothing ate and drank and sat on a couch, sometimes talking to people, sometimes watching TV, came back. And then for the rest of the holiday, it's been training. It's been doing kind of home renovations, painting this, painting that. I'm going to paint my gym this afternoon, finish the one wall, but it, it's been good. And the, the, the one thing for me, which I focused on, and this is from about August last year is self care and looking after who I am, because for a very long time, and for those of you that work with people, you'll know this. You keep on giving, 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 giving. And then we're going to use the cliche of you can't pour from an empty cup. So, yeah, I'm in a really, really, really good space. Uh, very excited for some things that are coming up, some of the things that are coming up, coffee. But, yeah, it's I had a look at my social kind of approach again. And I'm going to be introducing a little bit more reels because if you know where the platform is going, you know you have to include video. I'm still going to keep this now, these just on uh, YouTube for now, but we'll see how it goes. It's easier to share from there. Uh, I'm not a fan of some of the new things on Instagram where you, you, you can't upload a video to your IGTV anymore and not have it on your feed. It's a strange thing. I don't want that everywhere. So sometimes yes, no. So I'm going to keep this on YouTube. Uh, what else? So fucking over COVID. Good Lord. And I've been speaking to a lot of people, but quite social this, this holiday. And people just had enough. Fuck. It was idiotic. A couple of days ago, I was in the shops. Just between that dark time between Christmas and New Year, it sounds like a fucking black hole for time. You just don't know what day it is. What it just all blends together. Anyway, I um I was in the shops, just walking around because they're specials after Christmas, you know. And I must have had, and I, I stopped counting eleven times that my hands were sanitized in the shops. <laughs> It's like, oh my God. And some, and this is what, this is bad. You get the spray that, um, things, the fuck sanitizers, the spray sanitizers. And then you have like a gel sanitizer, but some places I don't know what they use, but it feels like lube and your hands are all, and it's, ah, but they, they do this. And it's just, it gets wet. And then now explain this to me. So in South Africa, our curfew was lifted the, the, on the 31st of January because everybody was up in arms and we're not going to do this. So the government lifted the curfew with immediate effect. However, we're still on an adjusted level one, obviously gives the government control, whatever, different discussion. But one of the things they changed is a maximum of a thousand people indoors at an event or 2000 outdoors at an event. Now, what is the difference between a thousand people in a place and let's say two and a half thousand people in a place? You're still next to each other all the time. What? And, how are they going to patrol this? So the cops are going to come and say, okay, everybody quiet. Shh, shh, shh. One, two, three, five. It's idiotic. It is this whole thing. And now, listen to a very interesting podcast in uh, listening to a lot of podcasts and ebooks and stuff. But the idea of mass psychosis, like all of us, think about it. There's four stages to something like that. Number one, isolation. Stay in your home. Number two, you remove things that people take for granted or that they enjoy. Gym, shopping, uh, whatever, gatherings, you can't do that. Number three, you tap into the free-floating anxiety that's built around it by the media giving you all these words, death, variant, numbers, vaccines, cures. Oh, well, nobody says cure, really. And then the fourth step of this whole mass psychosis, so you isolate, you take things away, you tap, you, you push the free-floating anxiety, and then you offer one singular solution, which is a vaccine. But the vaccine isn't a cure, it's prevention. Anyway, let's not go there. Lots of thoughts, lots of thoughts. Um, other than that, yo, good to be back in the office. I can hear some people arriving now. 
Uh, I am, my first travel is in, when am I first? May at this stage. We've got a couple of private guided trips that are pending. So that'll be in April. So I'm doing gorillas in July, polar bears in May, uh, Mara. So yeah, it's uh, looking forward to that. Also, I am traveling less because there's a lot more big vision stuff we're going to work on for Wild Eye. I'm not going to tell you yet. You can watch later. Um, then on the side, my coaching practice is going to kick into full effect kind of towards the end of the month. Um, and again, it doesn't change anything from a Wild Eye point of view. I'm still there invested. I'm going to make that thing go even bigger through the roof. When we started as Wild Eye, we were first movers in the industry, first people to talk to cameras, whatever the case is. And it's time for us to kind of recalibrate and reframe the game one more time. Uh, teams all well rested from what I can hear. They're making a lot of noise in there. But, but yeah, so the coaching practice is great. I do this early mornings, uh, time zone, of, of course, and late in the evenings. So, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving the writing. My newsletter will be back this Friday. Love sharing all those kind of things. And I've done a couple of things. I've made a few small changes to to the way that I approach my training, my mental health, my physical health, and it's really, really cool. And here's the thing though, a thought. So if I say to someone, I've taken December to work on my mental health, people are like, oh, you fucked up. But, but if I say to someone, I've taken December to work on my physical health, oh, you're a fucking hero. Or I pulled the hamstring in November, so I rehabbed my hamstring during December. Oh, cool, hope it's feeling better. I had a few dark moments last year and I'm working on my mental health. Oh, you're fucked up. You see, there's still this stigma. And having worked with quite a few clients now over the Christmas season, it's amazing how similar our concerns and our stresses and things are. Very interesting, but a whole lot more of that. Um, our podcast, I'm going to try, with not traveling, I'm going to try and turn the podcast into twice a week. Uh, Tuesday will be a singular one, either myself hosting it or then one of the other guys doing a single, just um, just basically talking. And on a Friday, I'm going to try and release one with an interview. Now, interview either with one of the staff members, uh, a guest, one of the people we find online. I've got a couple lined up, but I really enjoy those. So that's the idea. Um, that's really about it. Hey? I didn't do, if you read my last newsletter, I don't do New Year's resolutions. I don't because all you do is you set yourself up for failure, guaranteed, because you wake up on the first and you think, fuck, why did I do that? Was it alcohol induced? Was it peer pressure? And you don't do them. Resolutions are bullshit. So you either make a choice to do something or you don't. And it doesn't have to be the 1st of January. It can be any day. It could be today, the 3rd. So with that said, I have got a couple of, um, a couple of things that I will be chasing this year that I'm going to try to do. And I am, let me put it this way. I haven't been in this kind of energy for a long time. So watch this space. <laughs> anyway, the social, I'm going to change things up a little bit. You'll see. Well, I'll tell you now. Normally, for the last couple of months, I had three types of posts. One was a carousel with images and a deep caption. Second one was a piece from my newsletter, which is just images on, uh, sorry, text, slideable, with some food for thought, hopefully, and from the feedback, you guys have been enjoying it. So that's great. And then a picture of me doing what I do or with thoughts or captions and stuff. I'm going to keep those three. But then in between, I'm going to do three reels and then those three again, then three reels. Uh, because you're tapping into the changes of the algorithm, you're focusing on video and you're still bringing value. Value. Talk about value online. See, I'm all over the place. Lots of stuff to get out. Uh, it's fascinating to me over this time how these influencers have, and I, I don't get it. I honest to God don't because influencer, oh, I'll tell you a blue check mark story now. It's um, every single post that they do over the Christmas time is, look, I just did my nails. Look, I just bought the shirt. Look, you should go to here. You look, you should go. So I don't know. I'm, I'm happy for them. If they're making money, that's, that's amazing. But yo, it must be tiring, hey? Never being able to be authentically you because you have to say what the product is paying you to say. Because that's the truth. So anyway, a couple of days ago, um, just after Christmas, I watched a new movie by uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Meryl Streep's in it. Uh, what's her name? Jennifer Lawrence, Jonah Hill, uh, called Don't Look Up. It's on Netflix. I thought it was amazing. It was very cool how they poked fun at everything going on in the world today. Influencers, Donald Trump, the whole thing. It was, 
it's really good movie. Anyway, so after a couple of days, I'm scrolling through my 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 Instagram, and on on a on a feed called Lad Bible. It's kind of a what do you call, what would that be? It's a feed of kind of trending stuff and whatever. So they have a picture of this thing of the movie, and they say it's been great to watch. What did you think? Anyway, so I go and I just type. I thought it was actually really entertaining, great movie. Oh my god! Suddenly, people are coming at me and saying, "Oh, when when they see a blue tick, because I'm verified on Instagram, when they see a blue tick, they don't believe a word of it because you've been paid to say that." And people tear into me like, "Fuck you all!" I had an opinion. I liked the movie, so I said so. And this is the perception online: is people think if you have a verified blue mark, then you get paid to say stuff. That is sad. I really thought it was a good movie. I did. I thought it was great. Good laugh. DiCaprio is phenomenal. But then on and on, and people came back, and eventually I just left it. I did get a couple of followers from it. So for all the haters, thank you guys. You rock. Um, but yeah, that was fascinating. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna get stuck in. I'm gonna get this video edited. I've got a lot of content this week. I'm gonna redo highlights. I've got tutorials, uh, podcasts, and stuff, and then just settle into work. Basically, do some printing. And then that is it. So, question for the day. I haven't done this for a while. Because I've been working with some of my coaching clients on this. Talk about self-care. So, do you know what it is? Is it because people think self-care is sitting on the couch and drinking a bottle of wine and smashing your face with chocolate? No. That's comfort. There is no good from that. We have that. You have to have comfort and self-care and self-improvement. Different story for you. 2022, moving forward, what self-care measures or steps have you put in place for yourself? Look forward to it. Drop me a comment down in the, down in the comment share or go to Instagram and send me a direct message. I have a lot of ideas on that, but we'll get to those. Anyway, guys, good to be back. I will chat to you in the next episode. My name is Jerry. I'm from Wild Eye. Bye.